How to replace your iPod battery. You can pay Apple to replace your iPod battery, or you can save big bucks by doing it yourself. You will need a stiff piece of plastic, like a guitar pick, and a new iPod battery. Step one, go online and buy a new battery. Make sure you get the correct battery for your iPod. Start with your iPod off and the hold switch engaged. Step two, pry open the iPod. Wedge a flat piece of durable plastic between the two sides. A guitar pick works well, and gently work it along the sides until you can feel the tabs holding the case together. Unclip them by poking them inward. If your iPod is less than a year old, or two if you bought the extended protection plan, opening it will void its warranty. Step three, separate the two sides, taking care not to sever the thin ribbon cable joining the two parts. Step four, carefully remove the hard drive it is the part sitting on the piece of blue rubber by lifting the socket of the cable that connects the hard drive to the board. Step 5. Remove the battery using your wedge, taking care not to touch the circuit board underneath. Pay attention to how the battery is connected so you can reattach the new one the same way. Step 6. Disconnect the battery's power cord from the circuit board. The wires may be wrapped around or under the circuit board. If so, gently pull them free with your pick. Step 7. Attach the new battery's power cord and wrap it around the edge of the circuit board in the same way as the old cord. Step 8. Insert the new battery, then reattach the hard drive connector and the hard drive. Step 9. Snap or screw the two sides of the iPod back together. Recharge your new battery for at least three hours. Then enjoy your tunes once again. Did you know 20% of college students polled said they'd trade their presidential vote for an iPod Touch?